In this project, what we're trying to do is to build um, very smart, uh, low-power, highly configurable hardware devices, uh, which, which will be able to measure a whole variety of physiological signals from, a <coughs> from an individual and, and be able to do um, fairly clever analysis to predict if something abnormal has happened to that individual. So if we're trying to say the patient is, a, is in an ICU and is in a relatively stable situation and let's say something out of the ordinary happens to her or him, this device will not only be able to say that something bad has happened, but be able to say what is that and then be able to transmit this to the doctor. So we are not trying with this to replace the doctor. What we try to do here is to, uh, to assist the doctor. So there are three, three different uh, aspects that we are considering in design of a uh, robust medical monitoring device. The first one is accuracy, meaning that we want this device to deliver uh, trustworthy diagnosis results to the patient or the health uh, healthcare provider. Uh, with a uh, low number of false positive and false negatives. The second aspect is uh, to have uh, adaptive monitoring, meaning that the device should be able to adapt to different kinds of patient conditions or scenarios that a uh, patient has. For example, if the same patient is going to use the device in the ICU or after leaving the hospital in home, the device should be able to reconfigure its functionality to uh, handle those uh, such scenarios. Or if the same patient is going to be monitored for another kind of like disease, for example, he was being uh, monitored for heart uh, conditions, now you, can, you should be able to change the functionality inside the device on the fly to also consider, for example, the brain um, functionality in the patient. And then the third aspect is, that, is, that we are considering is availability, meaning that uh, the device should be always available to provide continuous monitoring of different uh, conditions in the patient uh, despite any kind of uh, errors or failures that are happening inside or outside of the device. Of course our development uh, platform is a relatively big you know, hardware board on which we experiment with what we want to do. However, in the future we hope that this can be scaled down to the size of the, of the device uh, perhaps like your smartphone, a little bit bigger, which you can carry with you, which doesn't weigh much, and, and the size factor will be important for practicality of this approach. Uh, so my project is slightly different from Homer's, but very also related to it, um, in that I'm trying to develop hardware architecture that would uh, accelerate the algorithms in bioinformatics, which is the um, it's the study of biology using computer science. We're hoping to achieve a tremendous amount of speed up in running these algorithms and um, hopefully help the accelerate the advances in biology and medicine. Um, so that's my project and it's all connected, I think. We initially did this work when uh, we had a project with the Army where we collaborated with uh, Professor Ken Watkins to measure trauma in soldiers. And this is a really valuable, I think I was really happy to do this project because soldiers in, 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 in battle get involved in a situation where they're in a blast and these are young 18, 19 year olds and they just shake themselves off and walk away. But their brain has suffered a trauma that they may not realize they have for maybe six or eight months. Um, and then it becomes very expensive and very difficult to treat them. But using the kind of measurements that we have, we can immediately predict that this soldier has suffered a trauma. We can go and uh, send the signature of this trauma to a remote site and they can decide whether the soldier needs to be remain in battle or should be pulled out immediately, and what kinds of problems he or she had. Uh, and that that concept, which actually won uh, the Army's concept award, is what's the basis, really, of what HOMA is doing now. We obtained a provisional patent for the initial hardware design, and uh, if things go as, as planned as to say, uh, 
hopefully we can we can patent this entire technology uh, as it develops in the in the future.